So my curiosity got the best of me. Again, nothing really surprising there. Basically, Bamboo says do not use TPU in their AMS unit. It's not compatible. Uh, but I wanted to know, was that like a hard no or like maybe a uh, recommended no? I realize now it's a hard no because this TPU is now stuck in the AMS and I have to take it apart to get it out. So first, there's actually two buttons back here that you need to press down at the same time and that'll allow you to remove the PTFE tube that's at the back. So depending where it got stuck, whether it's inside the unit or outside the unit, once you remove this PTFE tube, you may be able to see the end of it once it pops out, I think. Oh, there it is. And next up, we're gonna need an alloy wrench to remove those two bolts right there. Once you remove these two bolts, this top part is free to be removed, but be careful, there's actually two wires underneath here that you don't want to damage. Once you get the AMS unit upright like this, you can go ahead and remove these two wires that I mentioned earlier. With the AMS unit outside of this container, we can find which one of these PTFE tubes has the jam. In my case, it's this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press against the coupling to remove the PTFE tube and clear the jam. If you uncouple your PTFE tube and when you pull back, you notice you can't pull any further, it's probably this guy right here that's preventing it. You're gonna have to press down and use your other hand to pull that tube out. That's gonna result in the filament being able to be pulled through past this hammer and you'll clear your clog. My goodness, this wiggly thing caused me so much trouble. At least now I know 100% that it's a hard no with using TPU with your AMS unit.